Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, three cushion fans. We are in Ankara, Turkey, and it's the final day of the 188th World Cup. We are playing today semi finals, two of them, and the final later today. And I can tell you, I am happy to have next to me a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Torbjörn Blomdahl. Welcome, Torbjörn. Hello, uh, nice to be here. Okay, uh, I would prefer to be at the table, of course, but uh, this is my second. Uh, this is your second best. My second best, yeah. And we are glad to have your commentary on this match and what a match it promises to be because we have two players of immense stature in the game. We have a multiple world champion from Italy, Marco Zanetti. And we have the reigning world champion and the world number one, Dick Jaspers. This cannot be a poor match. This has to be a good one, Torbjörn. Yeah, this is for the for the billiard lovers because it's going to be full of everything, you know. Uh, safety shots uh, a la bonheur. Marco Zanetti, an absolute expert on this. And uh, yeah, the shot-making abilities of Dick Jaspers, of course, you can try play playing safety shots against him, but it doesn't work. He makes points in every kind of situation. There you see maybe a little difference, don't you think? Marco is more, you know, contending. If he has a bad position, he really goes for a safety and Dick is a little more attacking and, and tries to make points in all kinds of situations. What do you think? Absolutely. And we have seen in the last couple of months that Dick seems to always find a way of winning. And how he does it, he does it. He's in trouble often. Yeah. People play well against him. We saw in Sharm el Sheikh good performances against uh, Dick by people like Martin Horn, Chongbok Lee, uh, Murat Nachi Choklu. They played really well against Dick, but he finds a way. And in the end, it's usually the world number one who wins. But today he has a very serious opponent, Mr. Marco Zanetti. He can do it all. And we are ready for the lag. Very important one. 50 points, it's a long match, but if you can start, it's always... It could be an advantage if you can make a run and start dominating. Players like to have the initiative. They like to start the match. Tables generally being liked by most most players. They are extremely fast, so you see both players here using a little bit extra adrenaline on the on the lag. Jaspers has won the lag, he will start the match. There's no equalizing inning, we are playing to 50 points. If somebody is wondering, the 29,000 euro there in the background is not for the winner of this match. It's uh, it's for somebody who might make a world record of a run of 29. That's the 29,000. A little bit unlucky here. You see white and red in a straight line to the corner, so might be able to easily pass the kiss, but sometimes it's not possible, and you forced to play another shot. Here also the yellow is a little bit disturbing. Usually it doesn't matter for Dick. Ah, he had to go on the outside. So, no advantage. No Marco advantage will be a happy man because if your opponent makes only one point off the break, you feel you're off the hook. That's like you almost won the match already, isn't it? Yeah. But you see, you see, actually, not very often that people just run away with lots of points in the in the first two or three innings. It's kind of settled down story. So we have a completely open match. Marco, we said. We were. I was not fair to him. I said he's extremely strong at 
uh, defensive shots, but he is one of the greatest break builders also with a fantastic speed control and position play. This is something that not everybody can learn because <laughs> his way of playing is, is actually too difficult. You know that, Bert, you are a good player yourself. Marco has a style of his own. The way he plays with extremely little speed, it's so difficult, but so, so efficient when it works. He looks really sharp, I must say. Doesn't look worried at all. But about Dick Jaspers, I wanted to ask you, have have we seen the best Dick Jaspers in the in the last couple of tournaments? No, we have not. And he admitted it readily. He said, "I didn't play my very best game in Sharm El Sheikh, but he was a finalist in the World Cup there, and he won the World Championship. And he still felt he was like at 85 percent of his potential." Yeah, it seemed seemed like he was a little bit off, but in the end of the matches, he always wins because he has the best nerves. Nobody is so strong in, in, in difficult situations. But w we used to average his 2.2 average like this, and he hasn't been doing that lately. Sends a message to the opponent that, you know, maybe, maybe it will not be 12 innings. This is anti-position anti play, just shoving two balls down to the short cushion, but yeah, maybe too risky to try something else. I think he um, would have preferred the five cushion, but it wasn't on. He had to play the three rail. Yeah, it was necessary. Now he gets a nice little... Two rail first, ticky. Yeah. Referee maybe forgot to start the clock. This is a position shot. If he makes this, might open up. Result could have been just a little better than this, but he'll take it. He has the point. This is kind of situation where where we have to not speak too much because we can't really see <laughs> if there is a shot here from the yellow because of the bad cue ball position. Maybe it's not possible to play the natural. Yeah, it looks like he has to play something else. Long, short, long. Double the rail. Reverse English here. Right hand English. Very little English on that one, but still too much. Shot to nothing. Snooker commentators would say about this. So let's talk about the shot making qualities of the Italian. Is he better than Dick on, on solving difficult positions or? I don't know. They are both among the f easily the five best in the world at solving problems. And, you know, Marco is so experienced and he has all the baggage and the technical ability. A little bit odd technique, but uh, he hits the ball well, and so nothing to say about but that. You know, it's so difficult to speak about perfect technique in three cushion because, you know, the, the one of the most famous strokes in the game, Sammy Seigner, is just ever so slightly off. He's askew a little bit. And Marco Zanetti has a, a right hand that is unconventional, the way he grips the cue. So if two players as good as that are not textbook, what is textbook? Yeah, Dick Jaspers. Dick Jaspers is not, not perfect either. He's no. his, his right hand is a little bit strange on the cue. Yes. Doesn't really look like uh, what you say, perfect technique, but he hits the ball well. But I think I give Marco an edge on hitting balls well on a distance. Dick is not perfect uh, when the balls are far away. And there he overdid it. But here you can see Marco Zanetti, vintage. I think he knows this. He knows that this will happen if he takes the short cushion. No position at all for Dick. If 
If it's a long cushion, he has a point. If he takes a short cushion, he has defense. Yeah. This is a classic problem. You're in the diagonal. Your ball is in the middle, and the other two balls are facing opposite corners. Never easy. And very important here. You can't play anything off the red, so you are forced to play this. Maybe he's going for six cushions, three times around the table. Not his favorite shot. Missed it by a long way. Really prefers using less speed. All heavy shots are a little bit difficult, even for the best player of the world. And Dick, like Marco, got away with it. He didn't hand a present to the Italian. Balls could have been anywhere at the end of that last shot. Looks like he's going to play the thin hit on the white ball for... Just twice around the table, short, long, short, long. That's on its way to the corner, where nobody lives. But it's pretty safe. So a little nervy first four innings of this match, both players having to deal with a few tough starting positions. They will find their rhythm eventually. Great shot, but mm. missed it by a hair. That's where he's so strong. All these medium speed, difficult positions. Surprised a little bit that he missed that one. S this shot only makes if you do everything right. Speed, curve, yeah, it's amount about of English. It's about understanding. You have yeah. to make a good decision and, yeah. and then difficult execution as well, but with the wrong decision you can ex execute as well as you want, uh, no point. Half follow there, very difficult shot. And uh, we have a nervy begin, I know this. <laughs> I started all my matches like this, I think. <laughs> difficult to get started. Both players, both Sanetti and Jaspers, had a tough day yesterday. Jaspers, of course, had that crazy finish in his match with Hang Jae Kim, which was very bizarre. 48-49, it looked like Hang Jae would finish. Yeah. Played a shot into the kiss and Dick could make his last two. I think Hang Jae will never miss that shot again because that kiss he got there cost him he will remember that kiss for the rest of his life and I don't think it was uh, it was just a wrong decision too thin and then it it's so dangerous that kiss and then of course Marco had what he's what he called a very exhausting battle with Eddie Merckx many many safeties many many open innings red ball frozen to the short rail red ball in the corner it was Tough, tough, tough. And his second match was also like that against my Swedish friend. Against uh, Michael uh, Nilsson, who played a fantastic tournament. And that one was also full of safety shots. And that one was a little bit far away. But not an easy shot, of course. So it's fair to say that both these players have had to invest a lot of mental energy. Let's see who has more in the tank for the final day. Tick made a very nice comeback yesterday against uh, Hengi Kim. He was he was playing really well in the middle of the match, and Dick was far behind and and 
playing at a 1.1 average level or something and then comes up with a run of 10 or 11 and closes the gap and Hengik responding but just refused to make that last point. Mistake by Sanetti. But again, not much there to work with for Dick. Complain. Now, if you're a club player, you may want to look at the scoreboard. Six innings, one point. This can happen even if your name is Marco Zanetti. This is how difficult the game can be. Both players very good at responding. So if one guy starts making a lot of points, the other guy will too, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. They are just too good to be run over. Both players just as strong when they're behind as when they're leading, so... That's interesting. Completely only looking at the object ball when he executes the shot. I would be nervous to do that. I would maybe hit my cue ball on the wrong spot. <laughs> Short, long, short here. One of his best shots. There is a little gap it behind red. So if you aim for that gap and you make a perfect shot, you will hit it. Yeah, he's actually too good at these shots. Don't aim for that gap if you are a good player. If you are a bad player, just aim for the gap and you will never hit the gap. Do you make a <laughs> conscious decision to play three or four rails when, uh, when you have this position? No, not not... Not when it's that close to the cushion. Not me. I, I, I'm I'm very easy there. I, I say I aim for the gap. If I hit it, I made a perfect shot, so I should be happy. I'm satisfied with my, you know, my execution. So let's see if Marco can play the same shot better. Don't tell me he has the gap too. No, Ooh, he has the point. That is lovely. Look and at a this. Very nice result. Okay, he did put the white in the perfect spot, so he had lots of option, options on the red. What a good shot. Now this is very important. If he can go a little bit full ball here and yes, avoid the kiss like this, he has the chance to get a really high run, high run position. Now he wants to continue off the red. Perfect. If you have an easy shot, you can, uh, if you have an easy, easy shot and you are one of the best players in the world, you can guess that you're going to hit white full on that previous shot. So if you put the red just in front of you, it's you can continue like this. Red to the corner, and pretty good hit on the white. Speed control. Excellent, of course. I talked to him before the match. Uh, he said, uh, yesterday he said, uh, it's depending on how I sleep. He's not the youngest anymore, so he needs a good sleep. And this morning I asked him, and yeah, I slept well. Probably because he had those safety battles yet yesterday. <laughs> he was <laughs> mentally that's a, that's a almost good broken. Yes possibility oh he pushed the white in front is this long enough oh yes sliding beautifully there little word about this arena here absolutely wonderful I think you can see that on the pictures it's like a cinema very comfortable seats and tables are really good it's an arena that would be the envy of many other countries who has this a dedicated billiard place with eight tables. It's fantastic. I don't know 
anything comparable in Western Europe, in Holland, Belgium, Germany, France, Denmark. It's unique. So here we are with Marco now in production mode. He played this deliberately the long way. He did not use the fourth cushion, the long cushion. Didn't really have control of what happens there in the corner, but I think he has a little opening. Can, yeah, he can squeeze the cue ball in there behind red. Yeah, good one. Six. Almost made a two cushion there. This time he did not hit the red ball in the in a favorable place. No, but I think he was concentrating mostly on the point because because the point was just difficult enough to need he focus. He needed a little speed to 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 reach the short cushion. He almost gave it too much. Long short long. No spin to avoid the kiss. And of course uh, that red ball is very small. This one is a little long, so the run ends at six, but he has taken the lead. And yeah, that was just a little run for Marco Zanetti. Only when he makes big mistakes on easy shots you can get a position when you play against him. Otherwise, you always look at the balls and say, hmm, what can I do now? Dick sees no shot off the yellow, so goes short, short here. And that yellow ball is smaller than a P. There was no way to combine chances there. He had to play three rails or four, and he was exactly in between. A little bit wild shot to be Dick Jaspers. Uh, as we said, he's not, he's not at his best, but still winning all the matches. Did had a had a loss against Garcia, but Garcia was playing so well he could have could have beaten two guys at the same time. Yeah, Garcia had uh, he was on fire for a while, couldn't miss. And then the Swedish guy knocked him out with a run of twenty. We talked about that before the match, so many big runs. Is this a little safety mistake from Zanetti? This wa yellow is a little too fast. Talked to him before the match. Talked about the speed of the table. It's really, really, really difficult to keep uh, keep uh, the shots slow. Quick. And, and I said to him, yeah, I, I don't like to play very low speed shots because I'm afraid of not arriving. He said, no, you always arrive you so always fast. It you, always can't gets be there. you can't play too too slow. Yeah, it's an opening for Dick here. Long, long, short. Nice. Perfect. That's what you expect from him when he gots, gets those positions. Slowly, slowly losing the position again. Green chalk, yellow green. It's a new brand, and Dick uh, has a sponsorship contract with this Finnish chalk. Kind of like the color, but I don't like the fact that they are round. I like a square piece of chalk in my hands. Yeah, the I hit round the round one. ones. They you just you lose them and they roll around and yes. I hit the ball and you foul. You have, no, you have no firm grip on them, so I don't like round choke. Will this? No, it's not gonna reach the third rail. Difficult shot, of course, but the kind of shots I feel that when it's 45 45, he will never miss it. Kiss.
is avoiding. Good shot. And he loses position. This is a very good shot to circle around the kiss like that. There was not, not a lot of space. He can play this off the white. Four or six cushions. That's what Dion Nellen would play instantly, I think. Yeah, Marco also, he's good at these shots. A little low hit, draw the cue ball out of the short cushion, try to make a straight line from first to second cushion. There we have it. Might be too long. And it is. I think the four and the six row chance were pr pretty close together this time. Yeah. That was a good good choice. The the shot off the red was possible as well. But you play the shots that you are good at and he's very good at those. Not enough for a point this time. No obvious position play here. Just play the point and see what happens. That's pretty good. Almost impossible to miss that shot on on the playing conditions right now with the ball sliding so there was no space behind the yellow. And a gigantic mistake here from Jaspers. And the face underlines Torbjörn's comment because the face said, what did I do there? He needed a little draw. And a little draw when the object ball is far away is kind of difficult, so you might just have missed the, the touch there. You can't draw a lot, you, you will send the cue ball to the short cushion first. And an invitation for Marco. And that is a little bit lucky touch on the white. That opens up everything. He will be happy with this one. But it's not perfect. It's not an easy shot. Yeah, it might have been better to hit the other side of white even. Three or five cushions now. Not too much English, that will send that it too long. That could be long, and it is. <laughs> Got a good little kiss there in the end. I think this is difficult for Jaspers. Those two could have hit each other in many ways, and this yes. is maybe the worst. The worst way for the Dutchman. But Marco, like Dick, knows he has missed some opportunities to score already in these first 10 innings. Nice shot. He found a way to hide the yellow. And uh, what a result. Yeah. He's the best player in the world, but he's sometimes also not so unlucky with the way the balls stop. This was absolutely perfect, and it's kind of coincidence. Yes, you didn't play that. Yeah, this is make the point and see what happens. Uh, he did. He did play the yellow to somewhere close to the corner. That's that's what he did. But that was, not of course, great, and this is also great. Can continue off both balls actually. Short angle of the yellow. Never in danger, never in doubt. 
perfect place for the yellow and then you don't need to be so lucky here how you hit the red to have an easy position yellow is perfect there I always say closer to the long cushion than to the short cushion then you have options place to go around it and you can even use it as a first object ball sometimes when it's there the first shot he was looking at was the round the table off the left side of the yellow but he decides against it it's going it off the red then it was a little bit too far away he goes for the five cushion here where he needs to feel exactly how the table plays and now he needs to s come up with something good yeah this was not a because this is not obvious the position he has now it's impossible to play for a good position on that shot because the red is going to the other side and how do you want to hit that yellow ball to have a position i don't know red is dead and he has no shots off the white off of the yellow so let's see second try for six cushions three times around the table big stroke ah he plays that one with the Ooh, without without left English it would be spectacular yeah unbelievable but he has what a shot. made it just a little bit long Marco with a <laughs> I would like to see a replay of this one by the way because it was out of the ordinary might have played it just without English but I'm surprised it came so far tables of course very very fast That was not a shot you see every day. In these kind of positions, you you want to have the four cushion available, but I think he goes directly to the short cushion. And White is right there, covering the ball, so no chance for a point. Difficult, of course. Super difficult. Super difficult. He Dick, Dick got a little bit lucky there to yeah. give him this position. <coughs> I was going to say just before Dick made a run of what did he make? Three or four? When you play against him, I did. You know how many times I played against him. A hundred and fifty times or something. Sometimes you, you feel it in the match. Okay, that was one, one mistake too much. Now yes. he will make his run. Now he, he's going to make 10 or 12. Yeah, he's, I think it's now it starts to be about time. Beautiful shot with some extra spin. Didn't really want to play it really slow. So now he creates two diagonals here to the corners, but I think he has even two options there from, from yellow. We'll see which one he picks. Yeah, he draws, draws inside. Back. Yeah. For me, that's outside. Sorry, but. Uh, And he overdid it. So no happy faces on the on the players. Both of them struggling a little bit here in the beginning. Lots of bad positions. This is another one. <laughs> this needs a perfect hit. Beautiful Q tip there from Zanetti. They are colleagues in a way, in a sense, because they're both Lungoni players. Good shot there from the Italian. Excellent. Very short pullback before he shoots. Trademark. He only pulls back his cue far away when he needs a lot of speed. He is said to have 
20 different strokes so that when he doesn't practice <laughs> he he risks mi mixing those things up and yeah he's he says he needs a lot of practice close to the kiss but no risk sometimes you just know there is no kiss even if it's a little close you know it can't kiss and i think it's uh, the hallmark of the great players that they sometimes have the courage to stay close to the kiss the amateur player will avoid the kiss by too much and then deny himself the opportunity to make the point. Or or take another kiss. You know, or you, take you another pass kiss. the first kiss by one meter and then it comes back to haunt you in another place. So you, you actually need to go close to the Yes, some shots can only be made if you avoid the kiss by by a few by a centimeter. Yeah. Unlucky hit there on the white. He doesn't have a shot off the white. And this is a shot that you don't want to play. This is the one that Jaspers is famous for, the short, long, short drop-in. Plays those better than anybody. Marco, of course, can also play them very strong, but not this time. That was not a good attempt. Yeah, and I think... I think Dick has a good one here. Some annoyance with the Italian, understandably. Yeah, that's, that's not what we want to do. Nice shot here off the yellow. Perfect position play shot. Three left side of yellow. This is kind of the shot that you just play softly and you know you're going to have a position. It looked very short to me when he hit it, but it was just good enough. And he will not complain about the result. Yeah, but it was even if he hits the other side of red or full ball, he always have a continu he has a continuation from the yellow, so there's almost no chance to lose position there. Another one here, similar. You see the yellow ball just doing long, short, long. Coming up a little bit to the center. This is not perfect, but still he can go from yellow here. This will probably be four rails off the left side of the yellow. Short, long, short, long to the red. I think he has the short angle clear. Long, short, long. No kiss. That would be even better. Yeah, that's yes, you're right. What he wants to have. So if there is no kiss, this one is. I was best. looking at the four rail, but there is a three rail. Let's see how close. Not even close to the kiss. But this one looks long, but he has it. I think yes. Oh, that's perfect. Another nice hit on the red. Yeah, these are the. I I Tashdemir Typhoon. Tashdemir. He's an expert on position play. I talk with him a lot about this. The, we call it automatic position. Yes. You just can't lose position on that shot. If you just keep the speed a little bit down, it's... It's always okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Only a very unlucky full hit on the red would would push the red down to the yellow. You might lose position, but might always be okay. Five cushions now, the same here. You just can't lose position here. A dangerous situation for Marco bad mistake or not a bad mistake it was a difficult shot but he missed it by far and gave an opening and what do you say Bart is it time now for the run that we have <laughs> that we have been waiting for I think it's a little early Dick, is, that, Dick that is better towards the end you mean that 13 14 run I don't think it's time yet unlucky to get the red into the cushion but I think this is still not a problem for him Extreme English on that one. Could have 
played it more flat. But this is still good. A little bit of a problem here for many players, but not for him. This needs an needs a perfect touch on the yellow. And again, the kind of shot where you just can't lose position. Doesn't play ultra slow. He uses a little bit of extra speed, doesn't he? I, I know him to play, you know, really soft and just land on the third yes, ball. Yes, but Dick is so good, he knows he runs the risk of closing himself up if he stays too close to the third ball. You can sometimes get yourself in trouble if you make the point with just one or two centimeters of extra speed after the point has been made. You can you can totally close yourself off. Strange, oh, red. strange choice here, but no, no, it's too long. Yep. Why didn't he play the other way? He run had a three cushion on the other side of red. The run ends at six. Small lead for Jaspers, 18 points to 12 in 12 innings. So you were right about it. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. And with Marco, you never know, because he can make a run out of anything. Suddenly he starts, you know, producing, playing the violin, making the very soft, beautiful shots, staying 8 to 10 centimeters away from, from the last object ball. That's and what I meant, At 8 to 10, not 2 and 3, because that can get you in trouble. I didn't push enough on this no, one. No, he needed a little bit of a curve in the cue ball. I think he got lucky here. He f freezes both balls to the cushions. Now this is interesting, of course. We're going to see Jasper as the problem solver. And how is he going to solve this problem? Yeah, I know how I would play this shot. Low, low left. On the right side of red, long, long, short, long, reverse, spin, change, spin, spin, shot. Nice. It lies very nicely for that one, no kiss. He goes for something less spectacular, but if he makes it, it will be. Ooh. What did he do there? Might have had a double kiss on the yellow, he needed a long cushion first. <sighs> Missed that by a sea mile. Let's see, double kiss? No, no. just... Yeah, no. he missed the corner by nothing, so very close to get the long cushion first. And then he wanted to just go up and down, maybe yes, two, three times. up and down the table. Yeah. But, you know, he leaves he leaves the red close to the cushion, so it's, it's a f kind of a free shot. If you don't know how to play safe, just leave the frozen red. Might be difficult. Not always, but this time it is. Here we have another one of those short, long shorts. Very small target. That and red he ball gets it. No, ah, oh, maybe that short. Red ball is so small. You have to be so precise. And he says, "Welcome, Dick. Try to make this." Yeah, uses the same defense, leaving the red over there where of it is. Of course, lucky, lucky to get the yellow into the corner. <laughs> into the cushion, I mean. If that one is just five or ten centimeters out of the cushion, it's a complete different story. Now it's almost impossible to score. This is a position from hell. <laughs> Directly from hell. Directly from hell. I, I don't. I'm not sure that Marco will be compared with hell, but it actually was Marco who made it. Oh, what a mm. good shot! Doesn't make it, but no, it's close. Nice but try. Good try. very tense battle here but not because the players want it it it's just it just happens balls balls are not being nice to both players Dick has had so many matches where you think after 12 or 14 or 16 innings when he's not averaging that well and then a little later he has 50 and 27 and Everything looks normal. 
his finishing, his final 15, 20 points are usually so quick. Three, four, five innings. And almost never a mistake in the in the final innings of a match. That's not something that you should sit in the chair and hope for because it will not happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. And that is, that might be the only difference between him and the other top players. He's just too strong in the end. He refuses to lose. That's good judgment. You have to understand the table for those shots. How much slide are you going to get off that second long rail? You see the curve there Perfect. after the second cushion. That is the problematic one to judge it. Four cushion here, short, long, short, long. Many options, but he he seems to control these so well. He played that one as if it was unmissable. Very confident. Yeah, he just takes a spot in the first cushion, and and then he, he, he goes there too. He hits it. Yeah, the combination of those two things. He judges the shots correctly and then he also gets his cue ball to the first cushion exactly where it should be. Full draw on this one to the corner. No, he's going cross table. Very thin then, or how does he deal with the kiss? Wha how There's does he deal with that oh. kiss? Oh no, I don't like that. He had options. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not rooting for him, or I'm not rooting for anybody here. But I would like him to choose the good shot. Oh, maybe there was no other shot. This is too risky. But fair enough. He missed the point. Head ball a little bit. Too far away from the cue ball here for comfort. Still remains a slight problem to make this shot. There is some space behind the white as well. And he goes there. Well, you have to say that's fairly unlucky. That's horribly unlucky, Bert. That's not what... We, c we can't control this, can look, we? Look how small the gap yeah. is. That's desperately unlucky. Like five, six millimeters extra space. Now about that harmonica, the last shot uh, one minute ago, would you agree, Torbjörn, that Merckx and Sanchez are the best harmonica players in the in the world? Or do you think of other names or maybe Actually you disagree altogether? I, I, don't know. I don't know. Merckx is, is known to be the best. Uh, Roland Fortom is very good and... and but nowadays, many players play those shots so well, so maybe I would go for Sanchez. I, I've actually seen Eddie Merckx miss a couple of <laughs> cross-table shots or harmonicas, accordions. I, I've seen him miss a couple, actually, lately. And I think I went six years without seeing him missing <laughs> one, one single, <laughs> single one. <laughs> he is extremely strong in, in the long, long, long shots or... In his case, sometimes long, 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 and then... Whatever, yes, uh, as long as it is a heavy, heavy stroke. And I've also seen him play the harmonicas short, 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 short. Yeah, for Tom, for Tom does, does that as well. He can also do that. Oh, look, this is nice. Does it have enough spin? No, not on no. this table. No. Table That's sliding too much for that. He needed to go exactly down to the corner. Yeah. But it was a good, good choice. Needs the corner, but of course difficult. That yellow is so far out of the cushion, but it was possible. Needed, yeah. He missed the corner by three diamonds, so there was a lot of space. 
So now we have faces here that are saying, yeah, they are writing books. Two players not really satisfied. And Dick, Dick could be, he could feel lucky here that he's leading with 21 in 16 he's innings. nine points ahead and not playing well in his own mind. We can, of course, see that many positions on the table have been difficult, but... 21 and 16 will always be an unhappy face for Jaspers. And I have to say that Marco is totally calm. Looks so, yes. He has, 60, he has 12 points in 16 innings and there's no discomfort. Careful with the corner here. Careful, it's a miss. No, it isn't. Sorry, it. I was wrong there. but. Well, he had it very thin. Ooh, 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 ooh. But you would have to admire uh, Marco for his disposition. Yeah, he's he's in he's in good control. Had some mistakes. Doesn't seem to bother him at all. And and he really doesn't care if he has eight points in twenty innings. He will he will anyway make his runs. Famous match from Krista Kelly tournament in in Monte Carlo. Oh, against Semi. Yeah, I know that one. 29 to 1 behind and he wins easy. Wasn't it? I think it was 27 to 1, but Okay, let's uh, let's, are, let's go for 28. But it it was a huge lead and I think he won 50 31 or yes. 32 or something. Yes, he like made that. all the points. He made 49 points in not so many innings. Miraculous. Same corner, same corner risk here. Same problem. But, but he goes directly on the red. This and time. No another risk. kiss on the red. This is good as long as the white doesn't stay frozen. And he has to go to the right of white. He doesn't spend any time at all. He just goes to the shot very quickly. Almost full spin on this one and a little extra speed to avoid the gap. Can still hit it there. Again, a perfect shot, perfectly executed. He aimed there and he hit there. And he hit there. Yeah. It doesn't make you really happy, but as long as you get your cue ball where you want, you want something. But in this case, I feel you have to make a decision to play three rails or four. Yeah, his decision was using a little extra speed, but still the gap was open. Why is he so dissatisfied with this one? It looks perfect. Where did yellow go? Or maybe ah, yeah. he doesn't like the angle he has to the red ball. That's probably the only place down there where you yeah, where, where you, you don't need you the yellow right now. You don't want to be there. Because the short, long, short here, the yellow is a small target and the five cushion becomes really difficult because you have to draw it with almost no spin. Uh, he goes up and down. That's his default way. Misses it by a long way. Isn't that far away for, for a Dick Jasper? Yes, that's a big miss. And tell you the truth, I expected him to go up and down to the short rail, the to the other side of the of the yellow. So I expected short, long, short, short. And again short. That's what I expected him to do. And, and he did table it. table spins pretty well on the short cushion, so that's maybe the the fact that surprised him there. But it was again surprising. Surprisingly far away. But of course for a just a normal player it's of course a difficult shot this is nice look at the speed 
And at the same time, I think he rolled the white down to the corner. This might be really good. That was a better shot than it looked. It looked like an easy pickup, but it wasn't. It was a very good hit. Now the white is not exactly frozen, so sh I give him a pretty good chance of scoring here. Four cushion and leaving the red on the other side. And now he can't see the red, but yeah, he might might be able to play this off the white for a flat little short angle or maybe even short long long. Short, long, long, not bad. Ooh, that is desperately close. He would have li loved to hit that one because if we can see the table, it was a good chance for a run. Yeah, the white is out there in the middle. It would have been fantastic. And you see from Marco's face that that one hurt. He would have loved to have made that one. Dick talking to himself during the practice strokes. That's strange. What did he say? I you cannot read lips, but you there cannot was read something lips? going on. I'm disappointed with you, but you can't read lips. I really? cannot read lips. <laughs> well, he went like, where, 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 where? I'm not sure what that means in, in Dutch. Good try on a very, very difficult shot. Difficult shots even 10 centimeters or 5 centimeters away. Is, uh, could it's be a, good a good result. Try. Yeah, it's a good try. It's a good hit. Now, is this ball first or rail first? Looks like ball first, the way he's aiming here with no spin. Just needs a little bit of left, maybe. Oh, that's no spin at all. It's okay. Good. If you can use the white now, it's it's okay, I think. But it looks hard. Red is in a bad spot for yeah for using as as a first object ball. He's still playing off the white. Uh, Need some extra speed to to reach the sh the long cushion with a somewhat thinner hit, I think. To avoid the kiss. Uh, Couldn't. And no kiss luck. He had no control over the second ball and it played it full into the kiss. 22-19 and let's say the match will start now. This was just shadow Warm boxing. Up. Shadow boxing, yes. Almost has a good position here, Dick. The number one and the number two on the world ranking list are playing one average. That's how difficult the game can be. But look at the relaxed position of Marco in the chair. <laughs> yeah, of course. He must feel lucky that he hasn't lost the game already. 19 innings. It's a piece of cake for the Kiaspers. 50 points in 19 innings. He does that. In his sleep. Yeah, not really in his sleep, but half awake, let's say. Just after breakfast, or before even. Now we are going to have a pretty good tournament average here. Many short matches, many high averages, many high runs. So I think the general consensus is that the tables have been playing well. As you said, they're very quick. Very quick, and they're keeping 
until the end of the match they don't you know shorten up or they don't or change all that dramatically not, not too much and it's very controllable just a little just a little cleaning of the balls and and everything is perfectly fine nice shot there from marco he found that red ball a little bit in nowhere but he's not totally lucky with the resulting position both players have had that throughout the match until now this is the worst way you can hit the red but he was happy he made it can't play anything off the red so he goes for this horribly difficult shot let's see if he can keep the speed down if he uses too much speed there will be a natural for for dick short angle and that's what is going no. to happen now now he needs the yellow to freeze on the long cushion for no position uh, he's so much extra speed that the short angle doesn't exist now if he had played that with controlled speed even softer i think the shot will become e even more difficult yes of course but to make that line he plays like that that's why i don't recommend players to copy his his game because it's ultra difficult yes dick has a cushion first here it looks pretty comfortable just roll it down Ooh. Ooh, oh miss hit complete miss hit he just drowned it into the second ball i'm not criticizing him please everybody listening i'm not criticizing him just commenting on, <laughs> on it was a miss hit Needed three quarter hit maybe or or two third of the yellow and he almost hit all of it. Pretty good four cushion chance. Can use all the spin and lots of white ball this is nice but yeah you see triangular position again and that's almost all the time a problem it's even a 90 degree a 90 degree triangle here pythagoras would be happy Four cushions, just roll off the white. Is it easy, Bert? No, he needs a thin hit, doesn't he? It's even has to be play a three. three. Rail. He didn't like the four rail because yeah, he, he needed a perfect thin hit. Plays this one so well. And this was probably the better solution. One of his best shots so far in this match. That should give him a push. But look at this. He the balls just don't want to behave. Hiding the balls. They cling to the rails and make life difficult for the players. Somebody said that's because the table is so fast. But, I mean, that's no, not logic. That's no, that cannot be true. No, that's not logic. Because if it's fast, it would jump out and, and, and land on the middle. But here again, we see a ball frozen to the cushion. You have balls clinging to the rails on slower tables not on the ultra quick quick ones so that analysis is incorrect i'm with you there this is just bad luck for dick here that that yellow ball is unplayable he has to play something very difficult here off the red ball left side And again, he's saying something to himself during the pre-strokes. This looks close. A little short. No and guess. there is a kiss. I don't know if he would have reached. It would have been close. But we know this kiss. If you play the short, long, short, we know this kiss is always in play. They meet there at the fourth cushion. Yes, somewhere. that red ball is always going to be 
in the vicinity. I hate the shot. I, I try to avoid it. I know as long I know as you possible. But you, you sometimes come up with different solutions just to avoid that short long short. But I think there was nothing else there for Dick. Here he has to manage the kiss. Thin enough on the red, but it might cost a point. Does he make it? That's a good shot again. Two innings in a row now with good shots from Marco, and this time he gets lucky. He gets the opening. No control here, no position control, not at all. Only a little bit safety. If he misses, he pushes the two balls down there. And now he has a chance to build a run. The one player who has a different approach to that short long short with a kiss problem we saw for Dick in uh, the previous inning. The one player who has a different approach is uh, Codron. He plays those shots ultra thin with running English yeah. to avoid the kiss. And you need to be as bizarrely talented as he is to use that solution. Yeah, but he does. He often does with success. Something he does really well. Yes. This was a little mistake from Marco again. He got that nice opening and learned something from the shot. We can see. Thin hit for Dick. This is, this is a shot that he's really good at. He had one of those against uh, Hangjik, and it looked so difficult. We were even surprised that he took it on. And then he comes up with his feather hit. Beautiful. Yeah, that's something that he does differently from many players. Oh, my goodness. He so plays good. so high in the cue ball, and that means he needs a super th thin hit. He, he prefers that. You can play it lower with lots of more spin, and you, y you, can, you can allow yourself to hit a little bit more of that object ball but he's not a fan of using low maximum English always stays a little bit up on the cue ball when he can good shot might have been too much speed for position and we are approaching the halfway mark once one of the players has reached 25 and has missed. We're going to take a short break, a couple of minutes, give you the chance to get a cup of tea or coffee or whatever it is you like. But we will be back shortly after the break. And we will advise you not to go away because after this match we have another really good one coming up. Mr. Tran from Vietnam will take on Mr. Tazdemir from Turkey, the local favorite. And I'm telling you, they can play. Wow. Did you see good. that? Did you see that last shot? Sorry, I interrupted your... I was doing some sort of a monologue, but the shot is, of course, more important. Not It was not an easy shot, but did you see what happened there in the end? His cue ball missed the red and then it kissed the yellow and actually I don't think Marco even has a shot of the white. He has to go four cushions here off the red. That's a little bit unlucky, but still good chance for him. He's well a such a good player. He you do expect him to get yes, this. Of course. It's not That's enough spin, is it? It's, um, it's good. Oh, his, re his reaction was very negative. Yes. But a very good shot. Here you see the reaction. He, he was worried. What did I do? Well, you played a good shot, Margo. Short, long, short. Question mark. No. 
a safety shot. A pretty good one. Look at this. Something for the audience to learn how to just kill the position. He just passed. Yes. Yeah. That was difficult. I will return the favor to Mr. Jaspers. See what you can do. This is the way he normally deals with uh, Dick yeah. Jaspers. Yes. He 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 torments him. He doesn't care, of course, but he has to put up with a lot of bad stuff. Short, long, short into the red needs a perfect hit. Bad. No. Not bad at all. No. So players don't want to go to the break. 24-24. Everything still to happen in this match. The closer it gets to the end, the more important every shot gets. Now we have 23 innings for the first half of the match. The second half could be 7 or 8 innings. Quite possible. Six cushion with a little jump. Looking great. So play that shot and... and just land 10 centimeters from the uh, second object ball on a super fast table. Great effort here by the Italian that brings us to the break time, but he has to finish the inning first. This is so important moment. When if you can make seven or eight, the oh, you feel so much better. Opponent is just going to the break, but you can keep him away from that. Break. Yes. And they they uh, love to make a high run at that exact moment in the match. A run of 10 here. It really can hurt your opponent. Beautiful little shot, but this is not a position shot. Pushing two balls the same way, it was necessary, couldn't avoid it. Now he has to probably has to go for a bank shot. Beautiful. And slow enough that the weight doesn't go all the way to the cushion. That's something you want to avoid if you can. Play bank shots. Don't use the speed that might push the, that first object ball all the way to the cushion. I think many players would have played that bank shot with more speed than Marco did now. Yeah, he's a, he's a violinist. Yes, he's a master of controlled speed. Surprise, he goes from red here. I would just bang it in from the white. Here you must know exactly what happens in that corner. It's, of course, the better position shot. No surprise that Marco goes for that one. He's not afraid of these shots where you have to judge the table. He's very good at all kinds of table conditions. He always adapts easily. Still looking very controlled. A little bit hard to reach this one. Oh no, he's Italian, he has very long arms. And did he miss that one? Oh, he makes it nicely. <laughs> what a safety shot again, look how he controls. Do Italians have long arms? Yeah, Southern Europeans, also Sanchez. Not a tall guy, but he reaches everything easily. I will not 
tell you which scientific survey has been done about arm length, but uh, I've heard it many times. And just look at Sanchez when he has to stretch; he reaches stuff that I would never reach, and I'm like a little bit taller. This might be too long, even. That would be horribly unfortunate. No, yeah, that is really unlucky. That is what he tried. He tried to hit it very deep into the long rail and succeeded too well. That's not the side you expected to miss. But he has reached the halfway mark, so we're going to take a four, maybe five minute break and we'll see you soon.
kill. Okay, stand by, please. Kill. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, three cushion fans. And when I say back, I'm talking about Ankara, Turkey, the World Cup, the final day, and the first of the two semi finals. We are having um, a difficult match between Dick Jaspers and Marco Zanetti. Many tough positions, some defense going on, a few errors by both players, but mostly they're, ha they're having uh, trouble building a good run. Torbjörn, how do you like this match so far? For a player, this is a nightmare match because you have to play a lot of safety shots and yeah some players don't like that uh, most of us we are kind of positive players we want to score a lot but now you can't and it's a little bit about character here who is willing to dig down very deep now Marco before the break played a little bit unlucky shot he missed it but <laughs> brilliant safety shot leaving this kind of yeah triangular position for Dick and he didn't have a good shot he made a not even a good try and gave a good position for Marco so Marco might be yeah like the Italian football soccer teams they they don't mind playing defense and you can win this match on character but on the other hand when it gets near the end who has a stronger character than Dick Jaspers that's a good question they are both granite marble. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wonderful shot. It wonderful if it's line. not too short. How did that get too short? How can you miss it short? Did he use up all the spin on the first on the second cushion and nothing on the on the third? Strange. Uh, seemed like a good shot but came up short. It's like the shot where you're afraid to miss it on the other side. You would not be afraid to miss it short. You would be afraid to miss it long. So we have two players with very strong characters and lots of will to win. They are not playing for average. They're not playing for vanity. They're playing for a spot in the final because that is what counts. And World Cups are the prime motivation for these players. They are what Wimbledon and Roland Garros are in tennis. This is what matters for three cushion players, World Cups, winning World Cups. And nobody knows more about winning World Cups than the gentleman next to me because he has won 44 of them in his long career. Torbjörn, that's a record that will never be broken. Yeah, I'm lucky about that because now there are so many good players. So probably take some time before somebody oh. gets a lot of wins. But look at this shot. Sorry to interrupt you, but we saw an unforced error by the world number one. That's a shot he would never expect to miss. Yeah, Marco is slowly, slowly trying to break him down, and he's showing signs of fatigue. Yeah, uh, you know, you know what the people say about you know when you want to win. If you want to win Wimbledon or, or Roland Garros, you should go through a, a match where you're almost losing, you have match ball against you and you end up winning. Dick had that yesterday and, and some guy said, OK, now he's going to win the tournament, but doesn't seem to have given him a, a, a huge push. M maybe because of the fact that the last shot that Hengjik miss misses, uh, like I said, I think he will never miss it again because we talked about the shot afterwards and, and he knows exactly how to play it. And I think he just forgot about the kiss. It's so Dick maybe didn't win the match because of his own doing, so maybe that's why maybe he didn't Dick get a push. Maybe Dick has the feeling it was gifted to him. It yeah. was He's a very honest guy, so yeah, of course. it might be so. Good shot from Marco, but it was kind of a must-make. Lots of freedom there, just full hit and a lot of spin and draw. So then you have 
65 centimeters of long cushion to hit to make the point. No, I'm uh, exaggerating a little bit, but, but he was maybe 40. At a very big ball there. Yeah, yes. huge ball with that amount of spin. Doesn't get a position. Has to go for this little jumpy cushion first. Difficult to control. Good try. So hard to know how you hit the red ball because the cue ball is a little bit in the air, and up on the object ball is. It's hard to hit the object ball correctly. You, you might see it jumping here. Goes straight up in the air and then hits the cushion. And do you hit the cushion on the way down, on the way up? You don't know. So the, too many X and Ys on, on that shot. So it was a good try. Too many variables. But he did play the correct speed for safety should he miss it. That might have made the shot more difficult because then the cue ball m jumps more so and this is not an impossible shot for this shot making expert look at this wonderful <laughs> he made that look so easy he has 25 in 26 and he makes a shot like this like it's nothing that's strong needs a ton of draw loads of english control Great shot. Here's the reward. Mm. Yeah, now it opens up here. Should be easy. Nice full hit on the red there. Makes him feel sure about himself. Now he needs to stretch. But this is sh should be an easy shot. But it, it is far away. Oh, he doesn't even need the extension there. <laughs> he could play without it. But just almost no spin here. A fraction of left. Nice for you viewers and listeners to learn about fractions of English. That's why, uh, that's how we play. Sometimes one millimeter of English or three is too much and one is good and no English will miss on the short side. So many times we take those marginal decisions. Can I play it without English? Then we do it. But if we need, it's sometimes so little. It's always about the details in this game. Because the small mistakes you make in your stroke, in your aiming, they will amplify. And then you hit the second ball, then you hit a couple of rails, and before you know it, you have missed the target because your millimeter initial mistake has become a centimeter and then five centimeters, and you missed the point. And then as Torbjorn says, sometimes there are margins in this game and you can afford to be a little bit, you know, in the neighborhood and you'll make the point. But sometimes you need ultimate precision and then three millimeters will be too much and two millimeters will be not enough. The last shot from Dick Jaspers was one of those. That one needed to be exactly perfect. Missed it by a couple of millimeters, and here's another good chance for the Italian. Slow three cushion here. Red is in the perfect spot. Now we only need to hit this white. He can continue off the red. No, maybe not. And maybe it's good for the aspiring player to notice that he never even considered playing five rails here. He played the three rails probably because it would be difficult to avoid the kiss the red ball would have come out of that long cushion and cause exactly. trouble exactly cause cause trouble i must admit when i was young i i i took those risks and i learned the hard way <laughs> to <laughs> not do that and i think good judgment about when to play three rails and when to play five rails is 
quite an important part of your education as a three cushion player. Something of course, that the top players the n they know these things, but when you're like 0.6 average or 0.5 average, and you're learning the game, that's that's one of the things you need to study. Yeah, you build up a knowledge about the kisses. When can you play the five cushion, and when it's impossible or too difficult? No. Difficult shot, of course, this one looks easy, but both balls are almost frozen, frozen. so y you have just a couple of millimeters there between the balls to make the point. Don't know why he shot that hard. Maybe, ah, uh, he, he wanted to, ooh, he's attacking here, he wants to loosen the balls out of the corner, maybe. Because maybe it's easier to make when you play more slowly. But this is a good result, almost nothing to play here for Dick. He does not like this position. Five points behind and no average to brag about and this position. What is this? Short, short, short? Oh yes. He can make this. Too difficult. It's not a bad try, but still quite a way off. Yeah, well the red ball would have been in the way anyway, and it kisses the red kisses the yellow, so it was an impossible position. Horrible. Lucky there for Marco, get away with that shot. <coughs> I have to ask him after the match why he used that much speed on that one. That's that's going to be interesting. I can tell you. Probably I can tell you in the next match if we have time at all between the matches because this is it's going to be a long match. Now having said that. 17 and out. And that looks very good. No way to miss in the hole at that speed. Yeah, that was still an opening, but he played it perfectly, so... A run of five here will force Dick Jaspers to make another famous comeback. And I think the risk, the risk, the chance that, that Dick will make a run of ten becomes higher, bigger. Bigger yes. chance that he makes the run of oh ten. Oh, this is a nice gather. Famous Balkline champion. For the free game and Balkline players among you, remember this shot. But probably horrible for three cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he has an opening at all. Look at this. I don't think he even has a bank shot. Ah, he has a bank shot. Okay. He has a good bank shot. But now he needs I have to an interesting bridge. statistic for you, Torbjorn. This, these two players, uh, Dick has the far better um, history in World Cups because he has won 25 of them. And Marco, I think, has won four. But they're head to head in World Cups. Marco has a lead. That is extremely strange. Yes, but it's true. So is it kind of a. What do you call that? A, an opponent for Dick that you don't really like to play? Could be. But they haven't met all that often. You would have expected them to meet more often because they both had such a long career in World Cups but they didn't play each other in World Cups as often as you would expect and Marco has a slight lead that's good it's nice perfect bank shot from Dick Always, you don't want to play this one really soft because with a full hit on the yellow, it might not arrive. So you use a little extra speed, not too much, not not sending the balls all the way to the cushion. Something is not right. Maybe scoreboard, maybe clock not running. Yeah, something is happening. There must be some sort of a technical problem because the guys are working on the monitor that 
gives the players a chance to look at the score. The table monitor, something is wrong. No, it's okay. I think we can play again. And Jaspers would like to continue because it's time for him to make his run. That's something for you to study, Bert, maybe if you have time. Dick is such a fantastic player, he almost makes runs of 10 in all his matches. It would be nice to have a statistic on how many times he has a run of 10 in a match. I would guess almost 80% of his matches. Is that too high? I have no statistics of that. Because runs of 10 are, in my book, not so special anymore that I keep track. Mm. But from instinct, I would say he has two out of three matches, he has a run of 10 or higher. Easy to check, just check five years or something, that would be kind of okay for the rest of his career. I'll do that. Short, long, short. A shot that he excels at. This not this time though. Might not get there. This one is too straight. He needed the deviation and he got it, but too late. Little that deviation there on the table, the, the white ball just curved around the red. It's unbelievable if you see the spot where the cue ball is now. There must have been some sort of a runoff because it's impossible to get there for the cue ball. Uh, you even see the curve it's there on drifting, the white line. It's yeah. drifting on the table. Might have hit some little yep. particle on the table as yep. well. but Little piece of chalk or whatever because it's impossible for him to be there and not have made the point. Yes, it cannot have come from the short cushion right there. That's unlucky for Marco, by the way, because now this bank shot is more difficult. And he plays it ultra soft. And, and misses, misses it by nothing. Red. And he gives away a beautiful position. No chance to control that, of course. That's a, that's a place where Marco cannot play defense. When he has to play a bank shot. So if you can get him there, you might, you might get a chance. One millimeter away from the red or something. Now this is three points for Dick. Should be. He's going to double the yellow between the long rails to get it out of trouble. He's playing the short angle. I was looking at the twice around, but he's playing the short angle. Could have played it m more ball with a little reverse, but yeah, you don't want to do that. So no. played no. it flat, no spin. Little extra speed, hoping to move the yellow to a good spot, but didn't just okay. I think it's out. just okay. Oh, Very important it. moment here. This shot is not so comfortable, the, the speedy shot off the yellow. Cannot play it soft, so needs to give it a push. Important moment here. D can't miss this one, I feel. Even has a five cushion chance, maybe. Would have liked to play off the red, but has to play this and he makes it. That was important. Now a little bit luck with the position. Wonderful story from old times when people did not have mobile phones. So when you were, were in the billiard room, the billiard club, the only phone that was there was the, the normal landline of the club. So when the phone rang, you heard from four tables, I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if it's my wife, I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah. Ah. Kind of spectacular look to that one, jumping and curving, but it's it's just normal stuff nowadays. Looks like he got a little bit unlucky here, but he might be still be able to play this. Can he play this? Very thin. That was Nowhere ambitious. Near. This is, this is not good. He had, he's had a couple of 
you know, difficult positions and he's not even close. There were op options here. Something, this one needs a very, very, very thin hit. Almost needs to so thin that you double kiss the red and he's almost frozen, cue ball at an angle. Might not have been the best choice. We are seeing a different De Kjaspers, but it's not over yet. I think it's time for that run of 10 you predicted about 30 or 40 minutes ago. It's going to come. It's going to come soon. I'm going to change the tactics. I say Dick will not make a run of 10. Okay. Then it'll come. But he did force Marco to play another bank shot. This is short, but not too short. Makes the point and freezes the red again. Not an easy match. The red ball is now in one of the worst places on the table. But don't forget, this player is Italian. He loves playing defensive shots. Yeah. He's going to go long, long, long with a little draw. Has to be careful, don't put too much left on it. People are liking it, it was a good shot, nice. That was beautiful. And he gets the white out there for a three cushion. Another very important moment of this match. Did you see that stroke? So short, but effective. I'm a little amazed that it did come down that last. It looked pretty fast, but two, three in the end it just arrived, so it wasn't very fast. This one should be okay. Don't go to the don't go all the way to the corner. Might be long. It's still okay. He did go all the way to the corner. Yeah, it's my f my mistake. The red is I thought that red was in the middle of the short cushion, it isn't. He hit it into the double zero as we called it. Even all the way, yes. Yes. Here's another another short long short drop in. The famous Dick Jasper shot. And he has it. Was and he that is going to be mighty happy with that one. Was that the winning millimeter? He is gonna be so happy with that one. Look how nice the rail still responds. And some tables that would have come off the last short rail just straight. Lost all quality. Not on these tables. It's still responsive. It's still yeah. developing a little English. Very good. Extension on his cue. Four cushion shot. He told me about these shots before the match. He's a little worried about bad ball contact. Mm, but that looks just perfect. Both the execution and the result are truly nice. And this match, if it was tennis, we could call it Advantage Italy. Things are looking dangerous for Dick Jaspers. Jaspers is having a bad day at, at the office not playing his best, he's not getting great positions to work with. And Marco is taking control. But here's a mistake by the Italian, an unexpected mistake. He had position there, he was playing a short angle. This should be the moment where he shines, where he scores. And that was an unforced error. Yeah, he will be he will be angry about himself there if he loses the match now because that sh should really have been made. Could have had a lead of, let's say, ten points, had he made that shot. And now maybe the Dutchman can hit back. Perfect shot. Stays slow on the yellow so the corner is still open
Just a little bit more push on the yellow, it becomes a very difficult position. That was good to keep the speed down. Say it again, very, very speedy table, so slow shots are complicated. This is not the easiest. But a 99.9% .9 chance that he will make it. Do you think so? The normal Dick Jaspers, yes, but, but today we are not we are not seeing the normal Dick Jaspers. Far away from his best. It has been a very difficult match of course with lots of lots of bad positions. And no need to say if the world number one is playing one average, something must be there must be something going on. And what is going on is he's not at his best and he's not getting many opportunities to score. Look yeah. at the face. Marco is really concentrated and looks cool and it's he up has for the challenge. He has Dick exactly where he wants. Letting him letting him wait for good positions. What did he try to do there at Torbjörn? And look at the position now and you might understand. He played this he shot into the kiss. He took the option of it might kiss, but if it kisses like that, it's still defended. I don't think he knew no. he had defense. But you, you never know what he knows about yeah. defense. It's <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> he plays shots sometimes. You think that was a bad shot and you, you go to the table and you say, oh, now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because I have nothing. Yeah. No, and this it, is it's it hurts the opponent and, and today, until now, he has managed to put Dick Dick Jasper completely out of control. Feel he is not at all in this match yet. Yet, and we're already 31 innings. He doesn't like the cross table, the zigzag, and he's looking at a left-handed shot off the red. Decided against it. Also too difficult. This is just a big harmonica. It is big bang and and should make it very fast. A little reverse. Good shot. Great. Gets the little applause from his opponent for that one. Not easy, because you need to play with something which is not really a draw, not really a follow. Not really a dead ball, needs to have some action to put the ball forward. It's it's very difficult to find the spot in the cue ball for that one. It's easy to kill the cue ball and then, then just stay straight. Yes, it's going long, 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 but it's never coming in. And on this sliding table, anything above center, just sends the ball down, you make a two cushion or you miss on the backside. So, very good shot there from Dick. He might wake up now if he makes this one. I think he's played a little bit too long. I think he caught too much, too much ball there. Cue ball was close to the cushion, so too much ball gives a curve. Here from first to second, it curves down and then it's long. Not thin enough. Of course, not a not a gigantic mistake. No, that was not a bad shot. It was just a difficult shot. A difficult hit from cue ball at the cushion. You say at the cushion or on the cushion or on the cushion would be on top of the cushion. Yeah. I don't know. White is taken care of. No, not this time. Uh, is he lucky? No, no, no fluke. Can't, he can't be that lucky. No fluke. So Jasper's off the hook for one more inning. But he still needs 15 points. And the way he's producing, that's not going to be one or two innings. Difficult position again. Might be forced to play the very thin hit on the yellow and then five cushions. That means thin and not so much English, maybe. Or could he play another harmonica of the red? We are joined by Tran, Wechin Tran, waiting for his, his, his semi final. Semifinal. Interestingly watching this match, maybe surprised as we are, low scoring. 
We wish him good luck. Yes, Mr. Tran, we are happy to see you back in the World Cup. I'm not sure how much English Tran speaks, Torbjorn will know. Yeah, I actually I don't. It was a couple of years now, yeah. pandemic, so... We missed those guys and their beautiful play. Some English. Now we're going to see Mr. Tran in action against Typhoon Tajdemir. Very uh, exciting matchup with a home favorite and... Tran superb in very good shape, from, uh, yes. Vietnam in great form because how well did he play yesterday? Fantastic. That's so true. Dick now getting the balls into the good positions and dangerous for Marco. He used the whole cue bag here to make the cue as long as possible. Has he missed it long? He has missed it long. That'll be a disappointment. Mistake probably coming from all that extra weight on the cue gives more deflection to the whole cue. Makes a thinner hit. Not something that players practice. You you don't put on the extension no, on your no. practice table and look how is the deflection changing <laughs> no, if no. I have one extension or two extensions. Full English shot m might might have been that because the shot was actually with a with a normal your normal cue. You can't miss that shot if you can just reach it. The yellow was as big as it can be. Bank shot from Marco. Very nice. Unlucky to put the white to the cushion. You don't control that, of course, but look at the white ball. is so far out of the cushion. How can you cut it back into the cushion? Might be able to use it as first object. Well, then he's fine. I think he has a fairly nice shot left side of the white. Yeah, right side of white, I think it's not really possible. So that leaves this one, which is... Is Sensitive. it a little compli complicated? Where can he... Put the no, white behind the red. No, there's no kiss. That's that's for him. Ah, he needed line. needed a little little energy. Not not without draw. Or did he use only English and some extra speed? That's possible. Still looking cool and calm. Cool, calm, and collected. But the difference is only five points, and we're getting into the home stretch. Marco finds the hole. Was he playing four cushions there? He no, played he it so speedy. Did he at all go to the other side of the table? From the other side of the table, you can't really see how, how much space it is because the red covers the cushion. I don't think he walked around to, to take a look at, at the gap, so he just played for it and hit it again. This is the second time he hits. It's a gap like that. Maybe he didn't even consider the gap. I didn't see if he walked around to see, because it's a big difference if it's six and a half centimeters, then there is no gap. No, or, or eight centimeters. Of, or it's seven and a half. That's yeah. a big yeah. difference. And Dick makes another one of those. Now he's... Now I tell you, he will not miss any easy shots anymore. So, if he gets easy shots, he will make all of them. I've been wrong about everything in this match until now, so I should just shut up. There is no easy shot here. He needs to come up with something good. I, I have a nice memory. Maybe not so nice, but I played so many times against Dick, and some of the matches where he has been brilliant, I'm just sitting there in the chair, being annoyed that he gets all these easy positions from his shots, and that's not at all the case today. And then this happens; he gets a not so easy, and I'm I'm 
getting happy, but getting he makes them ready two. Ready for to play. And then another couple of easy shots, and then he gets it difficult again and say, now he's going to miss. No, he, he just doesn't miss. That's the Dick Jaspers I know. Well, he played Not always, of course, but... He played a great shot here. Yeah, that was so difficult. Had to hit the corner, find the corner. Lots of English, the right speed. If he can get back in this match, that last shot was a big contribution. I've noticed something. Sorry, pardon me. I've noticed something with his queuing. I, I talked about this with a pool player. Pool players are really, really accurate about their queuing and their rhythm. I don't see Dick Jaspers using his normal rhythm because he makes he makes some smaller movements and mm -hmm. then he makes one almost shot and then pulls back and goes through the ball. He doesn't have this rhythm today. So seen several times. Now this one, this last one he missed was like overcompensation. The, the typical shot where you're afraid to miss long and he missed it short by quite a way, quite a few centimeters. Given a good opportunity to Marco as an easy five railer. Perfect and hit you know on the right. We're Ooh. in the home stretch. This is very dangerous. He could not have hit that white ball better than that. And every miss can be your last one. This is good position play school. Put the red in the middle, play slowly to the white or just land there close to the white. Maximum be, maximum yeah, forty. He has two, three, four good angles now. You have a lot of shots. This is like uh, a kid in a candy store. It's almost too good. You in here I might get nervous. I say, oh, this is now I have to this, I have to that. This is maybe long. No, no it's uh, even on the short side. I don't like this this angle from the top. Misjudging the shots. Yeah, he just played it comfortably with a little bit of English to let it fall. And another nice hit on the red, but not that perfect. Needs to use the white now. I'm thinking four rails off the right side of the white. <laughs> He's very good at the draw shots here, left but side of white also. Yeah, but, but I was wrong about that four railer before, so maybe I'm wrong again. Maybe he feels it, but... I think he's playing it this time. Yeah. I predicted it earlier and I was wrong. It's not the, not the most easy position for that shot. I, I tend to like them when you, when you need the third cushion about one diamond out of the corner. Then it kind of feels, feels right. When it gets close to the corner, you always think, ooh, not too close to the corner. Or well, this was perfectly played. A little bit of extra speed. Still kept position. So the Italian is on 45. We're going to start the countdown now. 11 for Jaspers, 5 for Zanetti. How do you rank rank Marco in, in finishing ability? You oh, know, very high. Nerves in the end of the match? No, no, no. Very no, high, no, no. I think. He can, he can close out matches. He's not, not going to miss an easy one. Not as strong as Jaspers, but... Jaspers is in a class oh. of his yeah, own. Yeah, you can't, you can't argue about that. He's in a, a class of his own, but I rank Marco very high and he's not going to get nervous. He's been there, done it all. He can close out matches. I know him not well. Not so long ago, I saw him equalize with 18 against Semi. Wow. Needed 18 in the equalizing inning, made 18. Where was that? I will look that up for you. 18? Yes, 18 in the equali equalizing inning. That's world record, isn't it? Um, 15. Dionelin made 15 in, the, in the some Danish match. I think uh, for successful equalizing inning, so where you reach. Yeah, must be must be world record. The uh, Zanetti's 18 is the best. Now, this was a nice We nice had a moment. 17 by Glenn Hoffman. A mm. couple of years ago, that oh. was the record, and now it's Marcos, 18. 
I'm way down on that list. I think my record in is 10, but to be fair, I, I didn't have the first years. I never need to, never that many times needed to play the equalizing inning. The high run unsuccessful is 21 by Typhoon. Here you saw very interestingly, Marco let let the referee clean his cue ball. Don't know why, because now he's gonna slide here. Yeah, yeah he uses it to to make that gap between yeah. the behind the red as small as, as possible. Small as you possible. saw the ball spinning after the fourth cushion. He wants to close it out here. He wants to win the match in this inning. If we can see here, cue ball with the reverse English there making that gap as small as possible but he might have also played it on five cushions for position He's pushing the red out but he didn't get the white into a good place he's gonna play this off the white really he's not playing red here yeah four cushions he likes to play this on four I like three cushions and he goes that way A bit speedy for safety purposes. Yeah, I hit it a little thin, then it just flies away, of course. But it was too fast. I said many good things about his speed control, and this was a little fast, but so difficult to say it again. Very, very speedy table. I, I don't think we've ever had so speedy tables. A long time ago, maybe, but not in the not in recent years. Now, if you need eleven, and this is what you have to start with, you need really big cojones to play the four rail here off the red. That would be amazing. Do you see a better shot? Yeah, he can of course force the cue ball into the uh, the long cushion. Mm -hmm. Right side of red. Yeah. I don't like that shot at all. No, probably doesn't work at all. So he, he, he actually needs to, or is he? Uh, looks like he's going for it. Mm -hmm. Big stroke. Here it is. Is it long enough? Yes, I think so. Wow. Ooh, just makes just. it. Loses the red. Wow. But red is still okay there for a four cushion. Important moment again. Maybe his last chance. And let's not forget, he needs 11. That's a monumental task. Recently, I in my matches against the Kaspers, I have seen a very defensive Jaspers as well, so he's very capable of playing, of closing the door. So he, he might not need 11 in one inning. There's the defensive decision, but a poor hit. Nowhere near on that shot. Might have had a really bad position there. I think Eddie Merckx would have shot this one three or four or five long cushions just across with a big speed. Yes. Right, because that way you could surely have avoided the kiss. That's not really the Jasper style. Marco needing three. What a nice shot. What a nice position this is. Only that cue ball. Put it out 30 centimeters from the cushion then it's normally no problem. This is still a little bit tricky. Oh, isn't that a wonderful yeah, shot? That's, so that's just perfect. Wow. That is just perfect. You talked about cojones. That was cojones. And what a reward. This he can... So thin that you almost double kiss the white. Wow, that was, that was brave. But he took out all the kiss problems out of that shot. That's, that's what we discussed. You yes. know, go close to one kiss and then you have no other kiss. You need to be brave for that and you need to have your head full of knowledge about this game. Now he was in a fairly comfortable position there mm -hmm. and he missed 
two big hits on the white. Needed a little thinner. I'm not going to say an easy shot, but he missed a very makeable one here. So maybe even Marco is feeling a bit of pressure. Hit too much ball there. Yeah, much too much. See that curve that the cue ball ma makes after hitting the object ball. And how good of a chance has he given to Jaspers? I think he thought it was just easy to make. Just yes. uh, spin yes. a half ball and just put it in. Underestimated the, sh the shot. Nothing easy about this one. Full oh corner. He finds the corner just perfect. That was not an easy shot. Look at this contact. Perfect. And so close to the kiss as well. So that was another brave shot. Oh man. Can they deliver under pressure, these guys? And on a bad day. On a very bad day. 35 innings, they must feel like. Actually, I think both players don't even think about the number of innings. They no, just they don't play care. the they're next shot. They're playing for the win. Yeah, they're playing the next shot. They're, not they're very good at focusing on the important stuff. This is not about vanity. This is about a place in the final. You almost missed this one. He might have lost position because of that. Sometimes you get a good position because of that. Now you now he lost it. That's uh, not very characteristic for De Kjaspers. We we always like to say that he's a little lucky with how, how he position, touches how the he red touches the third ball. The third ball, but maybe that's because he touches the third ball so many times. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. <laughs> more most often than most <laughs> players don't do that so often. More more often than others. Now what is this going to be? A Dick Jasper shot, oh one of the difficult ones. No, 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 not this time. Might develop some spin yeah, there and the deviation straight. that we already know. Yeah. Too late, but good. Still a good try. What a what a horrible, horribly difficult shot. And he did manage to keep the speed down also. And get fairly, close. fairly safe, I think. Can't really see. Can Marco still go? He has to go for the draw shot. Yes. Long, long, short, long. Long, short, long. Or is this a seven cushion something? Looks like spin. I don't know. No, Thin and seven cushions. Okay. No kiss. No kiss. Speed enough. Back up. Whoa. Fantastic. I That's the match winner. How do you say that in English? I take my hat off. Take my hat off to Mr. Zanetti, who will be in the final. I kneel and bow at the same time. Oh, that was How he did that. Just perfect. Amazing. Amazing <laughs> skill. <laughs> perfect. That, uh, that is... Yeah, I almost get tears in my eyes there because... Uh, <laughs> okay, it's a just a seven cushion, but avoiding the kiss and very thin into the corner, slow the speed. speed otherwise, it's always too long. The back up. If he uses more speed, he's going to miss long. Oh, he's going for the big five cushion here. I don't think it's there, is it? Should play short, long, short here with maximum spin. He will have a lot about yeah, a big ball. 19 centimeters of short cushion to work with if, if he gets it halfway right. Ah, he plays no spin. Some extra speed. Don't make a two cushion because then it's no safe. Ay. Should have missed it on the long side for defense. But he went full out for the point, so yes. he didn't even think about it. He wanted, he wanted to close out the match here. Missed by 18 millimeters, maybe 20. So this is the thing we always say you should never ever do, that is give Jaspers one more inning. So many times you have seen this and he closes out with seven or eight or whatever. Good shot. He needed six against Myung Wu Cho under tremendous pressure. And he made six. How about this for a start? Fixing the kiss and under pressure making this shot. He had no control whatsoever what, what happens if he doesn't make it. 
Will this be a ticky, uh, Torbjorn? Maybe that's the best shot in this position, but also has a very thin there on the red. Not sure he can. He doesn't like the ticky. Not sure he can get away with missing this one. He has to make it because the red and the white will be on different parts of the table. But <laughs> he makes the point, but he's now in the lap of the gods in terms of position. No control, just happy to make the point. How wonderful it is that we don't have an equalizing inning in this match. Now it's really about who makes the last point. That's how it should be. 30, 36 innings should be enough. No advantage anymore for the guy who had the break shot. So let's play for who makes, who is out first. And now Jaspers who has a bank shot that he must make cannot afford to miss this. Doesn't. Does he get a reward? Not much. If he's lucky, he can just thin the red and play short, long, short here. Does he know it already? He's on a run of three. He needs five. His opponent needs one. Can he play thin on the red, just short, long, short? If he can, it might be the match. No. no this he is cannot see it. Table. Cannot see it. Long, it's long, long. Going to be quick here. Don't touch the red with the cue. That's good. No kiss. Do they open up for him? My goodness, if he wins this another 50-49, that would be like this just so incredible. This he can't won be true. He won 50-49 yesterday. He cannot possibly do it again. Come on. I think he feels what's going to happen here. Marco. Look at this. Red in the wrong cushion, but yes. it might be good anyway. So a little good hit here. Yes, yeah, it's perfectly OK. Do. Unmissable. Red ball out. Unmissable shot. <coughs> Pardon me. Playing for three. And this is a sure point and position is easy. Just put the yellow somewhere and make the point. Yellow to the long cushion. That's six needing two. We have another 48-49 situation like we had yesterday. And again, Jaspers is the one on 48. And his opponent is the one on 49. Can he do it again? He has, he has about three or four good good uh, options here. Two cushions first. A little bit complicated, the queuing here. Or he can play cushion first, short cushion first behind the yellow with reverse English. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 49-49 for a place in the final. Dick Jaspers waited pretty long before he produced his run. First shot was so important, the, the quick three cushion. Oh, this is a good position. The world number one for the win. And he's in the hole. He didn't put a lot of English on that one, so I, I'm not sure if he played four or three cushions. Incredible. I think he played three cushions. That he was a No, you don't play hole. three cushions on this. No, he, he must have played four. Look how close he is to the kiss. You're you can't right. play this on You're three. Right. You have to play it on four. But You're yeah, right. he was closer on three than on four, so... That looked like a... Afterwards, it looked like a very good position for a four cushion shot. Because you are Marco further from the play? kiss and everything, you know. 
Marco did not expect to ever get back to the table. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe he couldn't play four cushions because he needs to play thinner and then he, he might have the kiss because of that. Wow. We'll have to ask uh, Dick later what he played, three or four. Several things. Shot. Several things we have to ask the players, if we may. I don't have to ask for the timeout. It's automatic. Good that he had one. Three or five cushions. He is going to play a big draw off yeah. the red ball. Red has to go to the short cushion, long, and then go out between white and the long cushion. Three. He, he cannot play both. The ball is spinning. I think he has, it. Think he has it. a lot. Maybe short. It is short. Unbelievably, it is short. Ball carried a lot of spin to the fourth cushion and came Marco short. Marco cannot believe it. Missed his match point by a millimeter. That looks good. That looks good. Everything looks good until maximum now. spin maximum spin in the fourth cushion and took away all the spin of the ball for the fifth cushion so so is it going to be Jaspers after all again it's going to be Jaspers and the only thing that can happen now is that he gets a big kick on the red here and and comes too long but without a brutage this is end of match oops it's a little long but it's okay Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, Dick Jaspers does it again. He is in the final, defeating Marco Sinetti by 50 points to 49. Yeah, <coughs> what we have said that he is the strongest in the world in the end of the match, but he missed that, he missed that first match point. Unbelievable. There will be a lot of talk later, and Marco Sinetti is sure to be bitterly disappointed. Uh, how close he came there, but I I, I feel that I feel the, his first match point that he didn't miss on the long side would have almost dead safe, and he missed it on a, made a two cushion and opened up for 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 Jaspers. That might have been the decisive the moment. The key, the key yeah. in the match. We will talk about this later on, and we will bring you another semi-final following this match. Don't go away. Thank you for watching 5 and 6 and Torbjörn Blomdahl, thank you very much. Thank we, you. We will uh, rejoin you in a few minutes. Thank you. 